game for freaks. It's a game for furries. All right, this is my. Oh, it's disgusting. Cover your shame. This is my. This is my there, new... that's better. Yes, yes, I love this. I love this. Hey everybody, welcome to our Mega Mouse Showcase here on Retro Pals. This is a completely different episode, mm -hmm. and not just one that we've split up into two parts for the YouTube archive. We're going to check out some Mega Mouse games for the Sega Genesis. Yeah. Check them out. Check them out. Oh, That's should... my new catchphrase. Okay, well, I should show people the Mega Mouse, should I? Oh yeah, yeah. Here's what it looks like. The uh, Japanese and European version is on the left. The upgraded US version is on the right. Oh, it has a third button. We got a third button, and it looks really cool. That does look cool. I actually dug out my Mega Mouse, thinking that I would play through these games on original hardware. But, um... Any of y'all have this issue where, like, if you... If you, like, wind up your controller cables too tight, they start to burn into the plastic? Is that a thing that can happen? Because I think it happened to my Mega Mouse. It's all covered in sticky, disgusting plastic goo. Yeah, there are certain kinds of plastics that if they come into contact with themselves basically it will melt oh that's a shame uh something to keep in mind for you mega mouse users unfortunately it's too late for me but we do have the mister and a replacement mouse so why don't we check those out now what games could you use a mouse with you think um that's a good question port two it's probably fine some of these games use port one we'll just play it by ear I know there's one game that I know we're going to play tonight that I'm excited about, but I don't, I, I, I would. Okay, so I have body count in here. We're not going to do that. Okay. Look at our, uh, look at our separate Sega Genesis Minister episode if you want to see me play body count. Instead, I'm going to play cannon fodder. I can see that being played with a Mega Mouse, yeah. Nice. War. Never been so much fun. This is great. War. And the onions. That sounds delicious. This is a pretty good version of the song. Yeah. It doesn't have the vocals, but... Thanks to Mr. Virgin. Thank you. From the makers of Sensible Software, it is Cannon Fodder. One of the best Amiga games ever made. I'm not actually joking this time. This game is good. <laughs> Cannon fodder kicks ass. So these are these are the sounds of people dying and exploding. Mm -hmm. It's never that's, been so much fun. That's kind of amazing. I like that. Now, unfortunately, this version was only released in Europe, um, as were many of the Cannon fodder ports. I don't know which of them came out here in the States. I think the Jaguar version actually came out here in the States. So if you have a Jaguar, you could play you could play this game. So this game's cool. It's entirely mouse driven. Uh, button one moves your dudes. Button two makes them shoot. Hmm. That's it. You don't even need to mass select them like you got to do in StarCraft or anything. It's just real simple. Like you just you just point them over here and then you make them you make them do that. And then you make them go up here. Except they get stuck on the trees sometimes. There you go. And then you make him just shoot the dude before he even knows what's happening. And that's how you play cannon fodder. Fun and grisly. I'm usually not too into RTSs. If they were this simple, if they were made for, for stupid people like this game, I would enjoy it more probably. That's kind of underselling this game, though. It's actually really creative. The action is very well paced, and okay. it does get pretty complex later on. Real quick, thank you so very much to the Permafusion for gifting five subs to the community. Holy shit. Welcome to the sub club, A.W. Donut. Uh, oh, I love A&W. Mm gay L. Ramsey's 84, Zero J, and Ragnar 14. Nice. Welcome aboard, everybody. Yeah, welcome. And thank you for the gift subs. Yeah, thank you so much. You have been cr recruited into the Cannon Fodder Army. Oh, no. Uh, Sorry. It's also the fact that this game kind of plays... What's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of cavalier with how it portrays war. It's mm -hmm. just like, wow, yeah, everyone jumping around, shooting stuff. It's great. War's never been so much fun. And that caught it a lot of flack, apparently. 
Yeah, but... Because groups were like, oh, no, war should be serious. But, 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 but to be fair, it also seems like almost a commentary about how a lot of war games don't yeah. ever show the consequences. Because if you fail, they show the graves of the people who died. Mm -hmm. And even this, even the, like, the vocal track itself is about, like, you know, leaving your brother dying in the sun. Yeah. So there's, there's that aspect, which I feel got overlooked by the, uh, the prudes back then. Because <laughs> it actually is a commentary on war and being so joyful and just kind of upbeat about the whole thing. Yeah, and the big, well, the thing that got in trouble with was using, um, I'm not going to, there's a lot of politics about the red poppy flower that I just am not knowledgeable oh, yeah. about. That's, so I'm not going to go into it. But that's that outside our wheelhouse, but yeah, yeah, that was a point that people got upset over as mm -hmm. well. But I think, as a political statement, this game's pretty neat. I, I think so, too. Because it's like a good game, fodder. and it's just way over the top. Like, yeah, this thing that kills millions of people for no reason, it's really fun. Like, you'd never see a Tom Clancy game about that just goes, yeah, you shoot your brother. You're shooting your brother, man. You're killing him. War's great. I think I would like that, though. Tom... Ubisoft, Ubisoft, can you get the can you get the corpse of Tom Clancy to do this? Tom Clancy's fun war. <laughs> so this game works on a lot of levels as a piece of political commentary, as a really fun proto RTS, and just a game that pretty much anyone can enjoy, which is not something I would say about any other Amiga game. <laughs> any other Amiga game has like numerous qualifications before I can recommend it to anyone. Just like. Uh, can you can you stand characters with googly eyes? Can you stand impossible platforming and bad uh, damage mechanics? No, this one's an actual game, and it's good. Highly recommended you play Cannon Fodder. I recommend it too. Such a good game. It's good shit. Wow. You know what else is a good game? What's a good game? Fun and games. There you go. Oh man, trade quest. Leland and Brockett Media, where do I know them from? I like that mouse. You seeing this? Okay. This is Psycho. Leland and Trapton, where do I know them from? Uh, Leland made several arcade games back in the day, such as John Elway's Quarterback, Super Off-Road, and such. Uh, Trade West was their console brand, I believe. They kind of died off after the whole Double Dragon 5 fiasco. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I swear I know Leland from... It, Leland's a character in Twin Peaks. No, no, like... Hold on. Did they do Pig Out? They did. How did I know Good that? Good fucking pull, Alex. How did I know Leland from Pig Out and nothing else? Did you know anything about Pig Out? Because Pig Out's good. Me, BBH, and you are the only three people who know <laughs> Pig Out exists. Hold on. It's just us. It's just us. For fuck's sake, this does not want to play nice with the simulated mouse. Listen, all right, we got some Pig Out stands in chat. Thank you. Okay, well, maybe Pig Out is more universally recognized than I realized. I just think I'm a freak, honestly. Eh? Eh? This was working fine. Come on, Leland, he wouldn't let me down. Also, this music is driving me completely insane. Yeah, I love this. Your ass was working before the show. <laughs> oh, okay, port one, not work. Port two, do work, right? You would think? You following my logic? Port two, do work. Port two, do work. Port 2 do work? Port 2 do work! Port 2 do work! Folks, Port 2 do work. I'm just gonna stick my finger in this thing's mouth. Oh! Oh, that's disgusting! Honey! Honey, please! All of this is incredibly disturbing. Let's start here. Alright, so this is a Mario Paint-like, along with other bonus bullshit. I do love bonus bullshit.
uh, some inspiring music while we draw. Everybody salute. Is this a new pride flag? Um, sure. Okay. This is, uh, Cloud Pride? Or, you know, we'll figure it out. I I'm gonna see what you spell. Pro proud. Pro it's my new pride flag. Prue? Everybody salute. Prue! Oh, wait, hang on. Had to put the umlauts in there. Prod! Prod rock! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, all right. This is the flag for ladies and their giant girlfriends. <laughs> this is the giant girlfriend pride flag. Look, they're Polly. Oh, I'm so happy. And they're at the beach. Oh, they're on Fire Island. I don't know about this one, y'all. <laughs> hey, I'm so glad they have a fashion thing. Oh my god! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah. Holy shit! Whoa! I made I made Betty Rubble just by accident. Yeah, Hang on! I... Hang on! We gotta we gotta loop back around. I made a really good Betty Rubble yeah, just you by need to clicking go back around. To the club. Give her the club again. That was really cool. <laughs> Is this one of the few dress-up doll games? There she is. Okay. Betty Rubble, night on the town, I call it. I love it. She's going clubbing. She's dressed up. <laughs> our, next, our next featured game in Fun and Games is uh, whatever this is. What the fuck? Game for freaks. It's a game for furries. All right, this is my. Oh, it's disgusting! Cover your shame. This is my. This is my there, new... that's better. Yes, yes, I love this. I love this. Oh my god! Oh no, no, no! Bring back lizard. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's me. That's great. I actually really like that look. Now I'm the cookie monster. Cookie gorilla. Whoa. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! No, don't change that middle! Oh my god. They're so buff! They're so buff! Yeah! I like it. That is a boyfriend. Hey, the things you can do in this are really stupid and limited. Boy, you you hit the hit the nail on the head there. This is cool and also really really bad at the same time. This is this is the dichotomy of fuck around games. Oh, this is way too complicated. Oh my god. Oh no, this is way too complicated no. for me. You have a physical copy of this game, right? No, I have Art Alive. Oh, Art Alive, that's that game, what I got you. That game does not support mice peripherals. What? Not in the least. Are you kidding me? But it's made, like, it seems like it'd be made for that. Oh, there's pre-made songs that you can mess up. Okay. Can, can you mess up the anthem? How to go forward in the... Oh, I see. Boy, this is sound gonna sound great. <laughs> yeah, this is what music is like. You just take out some notes, replace them. Sometimes you replace a note with like five different notes. Should we just... play this? Yeah. Jack and Jill. It was only a little sick. <laughs> I think it was fully sick, if you okay, ask me. Okay, fair. And let's go to the arcade. 
We have Mouse Maze, Space Laser, and Whack a Clown. Let's see this mouse. Oh, this mouse is cute. Okay, so you control the little dude at the, you know, the little gray one. Mm hmm. Ah. Hey, I don't like your death animation. The I really control. Hate it. The control is entirely mouse driven and it is bad. It is so bad. This, this is so bad! This looks bad. I know several mice, and I would not make them play this game. The mice are always asking for representation in games, and they would not appreciate this. Uh, one second, just waiting for our... There we go, our bitrate settle again. How about Space Laser? Uh. Oh, it really is just one button. Okay. How about just everything attack me at once? How about that? This is a simulation of being surrounded in space and just being pounded with lasers. I, I personally think it's wonderful to get pounded with lasers. I hear the prototype name was Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> Screen shake's fine, Whoa. don't worry. What? Oh, he's scurrying. You ain't gonna scurry out of this one. Whoa! No! No! Oh, no! No! Uh, well, this control's better than the mouse game. It's still kinda... kinda there. I don't Taizo, really like this. Taizo making a good point that that, uh... mice maze was mouse-driven, if you think about it. Oh my god, you're right. Mm -hmm. It's deep. This is not deep. I just wanna. I just wanna. Oh, all my years of office work should have prepared me for this. By which I mean home office. You know, I hear if I work this freelance job long enough, they'll give me. Uh, they'll promote me to full time. Sounds like a good deal. You can always trust the boss. Yeah. All I gotta do is shoot down these aliens for the next uh, seven years. Okay. You know what? That seems worth it. Fair work for a fair wage in seven years. Oh god, they exploded. I don't want to play a single second more of this. I refuse. Kill me. They're working on it. Someone count how many times I clicked just now. It had to be several hundred times. It was a lot. And finally... Walk clown. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Oh no. This is absolutely from the makers of Pig Out. Yeah. Oh my god. I've played a lot of Genesis games. I've mentioned before. I mentioned before I'm one of those freaks who likes to go through ROM lists and just play everything. Mm -hmm. Somehow avoided this one. I'm playing this for the first time, so this is uh, a genuine first impression. This game's garbage. This this sucks ass, especially this! Fuck this! Who has time to play that? Not me. And neither do you. Do not play fun in games. Uh, the, the character maker was pretty good. I did like the character maker. Also don't appreciate the extremely jokerifying music in this game. I can just feel myself losing touch with reality. <laughs> Instead, let's bring me back down to Earth with Jano Toriumon. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out together. Da, 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 da. Oink, oink. Game hearts? Okay. What am I looking at? Um, a uh, mountain. Uh, water. Water Mountain. Oh, oh. Waterfall, that's what they call those. <laughs> Water Mountain. Fuck? Water Mountain, aka Waterfall. It's normal, it's fine. I know what words are. There is no data. Is well, this Mahjong? We gotta make a user data, it looks like. This can't be Mahjong. Look at this. Oh, man, I've never seen so much kanji in my life. It's Mahjong. Who said it was Mahjong? You were right. That was, uh... 
couple people in chat. I think I, yeah. Soldier was the first one I saw mentioning it. Yeah, Mahjong. And yeah, Game Arts are the folks who brought us the wonderful Lunar games. And this! And yeah, this. They did. They did Lunar. They did um, that one Gambler Jiko game for Mega CD. Wait, that was also Mahjong. God damn it. Quit making Mahjong games. They love Mahjong. Well, if you want a mouse-driven Mahjong, um, well, actually, this one's kind of a problem because I can only discard the last piece, it looks like. Mm. No, no, you can click on pieces to discard them. That's fine. Who is that? Uh, this is uh, Tanaka-san. Is that us or who we're playing with? I think he's beating our ass. I think we're currently getting our ass beat by Tanaka-san. All right, that makes sense. Actually, no. Yeah, what I said at first was correct. It only, it only discards the very last tile you drew. Maybe there's a the the wheel isn't working. The right click only does this. Why does this look like a fucking PC game? It's a Genesis. You're better than PC. Your anti-PC bias showing again. I love Mahjong. I don't like PCs. Don't make me play a PC-style Mahjong game. I'll die. Danny will. This is this is actually uh, something we've had to had to hospitalize for. Well, guess what's next? This is something we can all appreciate. Oh, I'm so excited. Everyone, please give a warm round of applause to special guest star Jimmy White who is introducing this stream to the concept of snooker. Is that how you pronounce it? Well, the Brits say snooka, so I don't know. This is like billiards, right? But it's different, right? Yeah, there's a lot of red balls, and uh, the rules are different, and there's no Minifats equivalent for snooker. Never mind, it's actually Jimmy White. Jimmy White is the Minnesota Fats of snooker. Really? Yeah. Except he's real. I've been pronouncing this wrong my whole life. I mean, it's, we never end up discussing snooker all that much. Yeah, I was pronouncing it like... Snooker, not snooker. Alright, it looks like it's it wants a um probably wants this in port one, so why don't we go ahead and just give this the old reset and we can play some snooker. Anyone a fan of the snooks? Yeah, where's uh where's all the Jimmy Whiteheads? <laughs> Jimmy Whiteheads. It's pretty insulting, Alex. I know, sorry. Ah, here we go. Yep, Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker has mouse support, of all things. Let's play us a snooker game. Let's play a game against computer. I... I... What? I just... Uh, uh, I... You just... Okay. I'm Snooker. Jimmy White is competing against the concept of Snooker itself. I was gonna say, are you Snooker or are you Snood? We could play against Tom, Dick, Harry, or Jimmy. Jimmy? If this is the titular Jimmy White, I think he's gonna be too hard. I think I got this. Okay. Now the neat thing about this game is it has a full 3D presentation, both in its original Amiga version and here on Mega Drive. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. This is something you can hey, just do on the Mega Drive. That's really good looking. What the fuck? Isn't it? Yeah, you can like zoom in and out. What's next? AutoCAD for Genesis? I love this. All right. All right. I'm I'm glad this was this was this was recommended to us a lot. I'm yeah. Glad. We got some we got some Jimmy White's fans in the mm -hmm. old Discord. Is that good? Oh, Jimmy's just, like, laugh, laughing his ass off. Foul! Jimmy choose. All right, Jimmy, let's see what you can do. Wait, you're going to make me shoot it? Jimmy? Jimmy. Jimmy, you're just going to let me sit in my own shit that I've made? Fine, Jimmy. We'll play it your way. Oops. 
Where's the cue? Yeah, here we go. And there! Perfect. Hey, you broke it a little. Classic snooker play. Uh, Danny, you're being asked if you know the rules. Of course I know the rules of snooker. Jimmy White's just making sure I know the rules of snooker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you just you just point the ball at the bunch of red balls, and then you just litter rip, as Jimmy likes to say. Mm-hmm. Litter rip, he says. Jimmy Snook. Jimmy White's Ripper Ribbit. Okay, Jimmy's finally going to show us how it's done. Go on, Jimmy, you pro. You absolute professional. You god among men. Did Jimmy make that noise? Is Jimmy a cricket? No, that's Jiminy Cricket. Oh, I always confuse them. Is Jimmy going to sink the eight ball? In the corner pocket? Jimmy! Jimmy, are you allowed to do that? Jimmy, you can't nap under the table. No, hold on. Jimmy, what are you... Trick shot. Oh my god. I just got sharked. You really did. Or but... whatever the shark equivalent is for snooker. <laughs> what is it, like, uh... Eeled. Eeled? I got eeled. I got jellied eeled by <laughs> Jimmy White. No, no other man I would rather be uh, jellied eeled by than Jimmy White. God, he's so good. I can't not fuck him. <laughs> Our next game. Jesus Christ. Slimmings to the tribes. Yay. You got your snooker representation, you Brits. You finally got what you wanted. Yeah. Are you happy? I'm happy. You're being banned. Yeah, that makes sense. So once there was Lemmings, and then there was a Lemmings 2, and it came to Mega Drive with mouse support. Hmm. Unfortunately, I gotta say, the Super Nintendo has the edge here because it has Super Scope support in that version. You can just take aim and shoot all the damn Lemmings. Or at least one Lemming, as I did in my demonstration a while back. Hmm. Audio soundtracks by Chrysalis, that means only one thing. This is a Matt Furnace joint. That's why it sounds good. Sure sounds like it, too. Hello, sir. May I have some more? Prophecy? <laughs> There's a Fleming's Prophecy? Why do we expect to learn anything from the opium lemming? I was gonna say, this guy's into his pipe weed. Thank you, Fizzy Rabbit VR, for the 300 bits. Nice, thank you. Oh, this is a Matt Furnace jam for sure. Oh, yeah. Let us go. Oh my god, they come from everywhere in this version. What the hell? How do you, uh... Oh, I see. Okay. So, these There's levels these levels are pretty big in Lemmings <laughs> 2. I gotta confess, I've never actually played Lemmings 2. Uh, looks like the action pauses when you scroll the screen. That's pretty nice. What can we make these things do? Flamethrower? Yeah. That works. You, toast your friends in this hole. Yeah, there we go. That works. Oops. They're fine. They are fine. Good. I'm sure there's non-flamethrower ways to solve these puzzles, but, uh, you know. Yeah, fair. What does this do? What does this do? What does this do? You just send them all off. What does this do? They sound like they're in pain, honey. They're working things out. They're figuring out how things work here in the land of lemmings. Okay, okay. Thank you, Scarlet Swordfish, for the 24-month resub. That's two whole years. Two freaking Thank years. You. Thank you. Scarlet Swordfish says, let's go. Let's go. Uh, where's the freaking exit? 
does, does such a thing exist? Did they make a lemmings level without Once an exit? you'd be, so I think they left. Where'd he go? Oh, they need to go to the little uh, porta potties. Oh, that makes sense. Oh no, wait, it's actually here. I win. Hey, you're doing it. Check this out. Look at that. Nice. So, I guess in at least some of these levels, it presents kind of an open-ended solution. The Lemmings levels I'm familiar with, they have one solution and very limited things you're allowed to do with the Lemmings. But in this one, they just kind of let you go nuts in some of these levels. I'm okay with that. I like going nuts. <laughs> I like going ape shit with the Lemmings. But how about we play some Lord Monarch? Tokoton Sento Densetsu? That's the one. Cool. This is pretty majestic. I like this intro. I love this. This looks good. A Falcom game at that. Uh-oh. Uh, story mode, please. Is this gonna be inscrutable? Oh, it looks inscrutable. Look at that little king! Oh my god. Look at that little bastard. That's me. What does he think he's doing? There's old Lance. That's classic old Lance right there. Dude, these character portraits are amazing. I love this. This looks a lot like Shining Force. I wonder if it's the uh, same artist. Music sounds a little Shining Forcey too. Bit, yeah. I do love Shining Force. Is this like a three-quarter view Shining Force? Oh my god! There's a battle. Oh, this is very Shining Force. Except with like, um... Bases, I guess? Mm. Huh. Give up. It wouldn't let me give up. Right. Okay, so this is a strategy game. Okay. Yeah, it's looking like it. This looks a little bit more strategic than what I'm used to. Looks like you can zoom in. Gives you a variety of options. Alright, this game is pretty well designed with the mouse, unlike other games we've played. This is pretty easy to navigate. Is this us? Or is this the bad guys? I think that's the bad guy. Yeah. What? Huh? Yeah? Huh? I, I don't know if you're, you're yeah. able to do this in... No, I got it. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, see? that that's, This screen tells you that I won. You did fantastic. I kicked A ass. Amazing. Lord Monarch for Sega Mega Drive. A game I actually want to look at when we're not pressed for time. I got several more games to get through, but this looks awesome. I just gotta figure out how to actually play it. One of these days. Now, if you were to say, what would be the perfect game to use the mouse on Mega Drive? Uh, what game would that be? Art Attack. I got bad news. <laughs> Art Attack does not support the mouse. However, Marble Madness does. Let me make a very clear distinction here. This is the Japanese Mega Drive version of Marble Madness. Not, not the US version of Marble Madness published by EA. Those are two totally different games programmed by two totally different teams. The Japanese one has mouse support and is a good game. And the US version is a big piece of crap with horrible music. Play this one. This is a late one too, they made this in 93. And you can just plug in the mouse and it works. It works like a damn trackball. Look at this. Oh, hey. Look at this. I'm, I'm playing a video game here. You're doing good. I'm experiencing gameplay. I really like Marble Madness. And unfortunately, there's few ways to play it with trackball support. Unless you use MAME or something. But this is one of the few versions that gave you that as an option. And it's super good. It uses the, the analog of it, you know? It doesn't just read one of eight directions like you'd expect it to. Also, I'm really good at this. 
God wow. damn. Wow. God damn. God damn. Are you kidding me, Danny? God damn. You're sharking my <laughs> whole existence with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm great at Marble Madness. Just don't make me play after level two. So if you're a real marble head, definitely check out this version of the game. Mega Mice, as far as they go, are a pretty cheap peripheral last I checked. You can get one for like 20 bucks maybe. So if you get one of those and a flash cart, you have Marble Madness at your disposal. Mm -hmm. So you can dispose of it if you want. I hate having to pick up and drag the mouse though. Yeah. That kind of sucks. Stop eating me. I like that they put you ahead of the little slimes there. No. Okay. We're good. We're gonna beat level three and then I'm gonna call it quits. I'm gonna go out on top as the Marble Madness champion. That effect looks really cool in this version. That does. You did okay, it. Good. Please do not consider how I did in that level. Only think of how I did in level two, which was excellent. Be proud of me, please. I'm I'm very proud of you, honey. Marble Madness, play it with a mouse. It's like playing it again for the first time. Another game you can play again for the first time, Nobunaga's Ambition. Oh boy. You heard of this guy? This Nobunaga? Yeah. This uh this fella, this warlord, some call him. He uh wants to unify Japan. From its historical simulation series. <laughs> Classic Ko Shibusawa production, Nobunaga's Ambition for Genesis. There's a couple of these games on NES. There's a lot of them for other systems. And this is the only one on Genesis that has Mega Mouse support. Japanese one does too, if you're curious. Oh, cool. And I believe the Mega CD port of this uh, also has that support. Okay, Alex, how do I play this? Um, I don't know. Uh, you unify Japan. Actually, I think you pick which warlords you... Not warlord, that's weird. Uh, which, like, lord military guy you want to be. I think we want 5,000 players. No, 6,000. Okay. Give me this thief. This looks like a big old thief I could sink my teeth into. No, we're good. Oh, we're rolling for our stats. Shinano Shingen. A healthy man. I'm with sorry. With a lot of drive. <laughs> he's not very lucky. Or charismatic. Or intelligent. <laughs> but he's the only ruler we got, damn it. Unfortunately, all I know about Japanese history, I very badly learned from Musou games. But but those games are super good, though. They are so great. You've played enough of Sengoku, Sengoku Basara to, uh, mm -hmm. to figure things out. You know, a bunch of dudes beat each other up, and then they have a big battle in a giant bowl of soup. Yeah. Very famous soup battles mm -hmm. in uh, the vacation of Japan. Uh, so this is one of those games that's hex-based, but not really. They just kind of use this setup. And the game looks like this. There's a lot of strategizing, a lot of... a lot of uh, turn-based battling. And then the town is in complete chaos. <laughs> kind of messed up that you're all suffering under a plague. Yeah. Well... Things could be better here in ancient Japan. And I'm here to do it. Call me Takeda Shithead. <laughs> See, chat saying this is uh, Star Trek music. Oh, it is a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're still in chaos and covered in plague. I'm doing a great job. It's fine. Oh, not ancient. You know what I mean. Millions of years ago, <laughs> Nobunaga Oda. Rokaku's command unit. Rest in peace, Rokaku. Fucking rip. So if you want to play your Nobunaga's Ambition with mouse support, you can do it here on Genesis. Why does this game have load times? 
I guess it's just that complex. Good for you, Nobunaga. Got a couple of more games here to cover, including... Oh my goodness. It's fine. Is it? Is it fine? We're not playing on the Dreamcast. We're it wasn't. Fine. It wasn't fine the last time we played this game. It's okay. Don't think. Don't think too much. Okay. All right. Well, we got normal Busy Town with mouse support this time around. And guess what? The mouse support in this game is really good. As in, holy shit! You can just do this. Welcome to Busy Town. Duh. Climb on board the Apple Copter and fasten your seatbelt. Move the mouse to pick the playground you want to visit, and click. In the playground, you'll become a busy town character by simply moving the mouse. You can do that. If you want to speedrun this game, you need the mouse. You can go so fast. Would you take care of the deli while I'm gone? Sure, Bruno! Yeah, dude. Thank you so much. It is so weird hearing this. I'm I sorry. Know. I'm in charge of the deli! I'm in charge of the deli! I'm in charge of the deli! Oh my god! I would like to have some popcorn. You want some popcorn? Oh, hang on. I gotta go. Okay. Here's your popcorn! No, wait, it's pizza! No, it's popcorn! Here it comes! This is like the exact opposite of the Dreamcast version. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. This is Huckle on a different drug. Yeah, I was gonna say, Huckle's on Coke. Hi, I would like to have some apple pie. Some apple pie, you say? Well, I'll just go over here. Slow down. I love how fast you are. Let me do some laps. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's done some pixie sticks. <laughs> You're welcome. I did like 10 laps in the time that it took that guy to be served. We don't have any more popcorn because I ate it all, baby! Fuck this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Goodbye. 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 You're so fast! I know. It's really good. <laughs> Simon says Huckles embrace the power of blast processing. <laughs> totally. Let's uh let's do the wind. Oh man, you're gonna fuck things up. I'm not too used to this music being normal either. There's a wind in Busy Town. Is this the beach where people go old, get old? <laughs> That's exactly what it is, yeah. My hat. The wind is blowing my hat. Huckle Shyamalan presents. Oh my kite, better hold on. Busy Town. Oh my kite, better hold on. You can annoy the people of Busy Town as many of them as possible in record time. <laughs> Using the mouse. You are ruining their days. The Let's sink this fucking boat. Okay. Let's show this fucker what for. Thank you, Cactus Beep, with the 15 month resub. I'm sad. I'm so sad you fixed the noise and everyone's not on Xanax now. <laughs> no, we're on uppers, not downers. Someday I will combine the Genesis uh, Dreamcast oh, no. emulator with mouse My support, and we'll have the ultimate version of Busy Town. He's dead. Good Take job. that, pig. Every sailor should be a good swimmer. That's good advice. Look at that run. Oh, I hate that run. I think we're due for a, a run back on uh, Dreamcast Busy Town. Maybe one of these days. I'd like to do it anyway. Of all the games to have mouse support, this is the one that pleases me the most. The ultimate way to play Busy Town on Genesis, in my opinion. Or you could play Shanghai. I mean, you could. I'd rather sink boats, personally. Activision jams. Weird Activision jams. Whoa! Hey, cool dragon! Nice. That's cool. So, y'all know Shanghai? Mm -hmm. It's like Mahjong, but fake. Some guy got the great idea to take Mahjong tiles and just turn it into a, a tile matching game. And that's what Shanghai is. With mouse support, you can click any piece you want at any time you want. Beautiful. 
There are no limits. Uh, except for finding a piece that you can match. Help me out here, Alex. I burned him. Oh, shit. Oh, check this out. Check it out. See? Nice. Oh, they got frozen that time. You can do this. Mom. <laughs> Some. Bless you. Orc. Thank you. Bam. I'm allergic to Mahjong. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Well, if you want mouse support in your Shanghai, yeah, good news. If you, want, if you want it to be like a DOS shareware game. And finally, let's go ahead and book in things by playing the pack-in game for the Mega Mouse here in the States. Wacky World's Creative Studio. Never heard of this. I think you'll like this one. Okay. The music is a nightmare. This music is chaos. It sounds like I have the speed up key enabled, but there's no speed up key here on the Mister. <laughs> so what the fuck? It doesn't sound like this. Sonic. What the fuck is this? I mean. Let's let's reset. This this is not correct. <laughs> as as funny as that is. There we go. There we go. No way I love that. <laughs> Why did that happen? I'm glad it did. Alright, so this is one of the lesser known Sonic the Hedgehog games. There he is. Hey, Sonic. Moving around like a busy town character. Got some of Huckle's stash. Eat the Metroid. Eat it. Eat the Metroid. This is a very multimedia game. It is, isn't it? You're just kind of doing things. So, this is a creativity studio in that you can make your own art and also interact with these pre-designed art installations. Okay. You can piece them together like a Lego and just make your own bullshit. I think that was the tagline. Make your own bullshit? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. I like that guy in the coat. If you're a certain kind of kid, this might ignite your creativity. What are you doing with your hand? I don't know. I'm doing a cool hand thing. That, that you know is that, cool. You know that thing where you stab between the fingers with a sharp knife? <laughs> Jesus. This is how you teach kids to do that. Ghosts. So, is this all you do? Is this all you do? I'm sorry, that's not fair of me. How dare you. Oh man, the face is separate from the pumpkin. That's another thing I could put the face on. The moon. You could. Nice. Dude, that's sick. Then we put the creepy eyes on the pumpkin. What do you think of that? I think that's scary, and I need to go. <laughs> I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't know about this one. So many times, Sega made it clear that they were out for that Mario part, uh, Mario Paint money. And this game, it's more clear than ever. It's like a dollhouse game, which I'm, I'm glad they gave you a dollhouse, because this is... Wow, Tails not looking so good. <laughs> Let's put him up here. Oh, he flies! Much like Tails. Yeah! Go to bed, baby. Can you... Can you oh my god. That's an electrical nightmare. I thought you were gonna put the give the ba outlet to the baby. Yeah, why not? Please. Eat the clown. Eat the clown. Eat him. Eat this clown. 
<laughs> Look at the clown staring at that kid. Like, hey, hey, kid. You okay? I don't know. This is pretty neat. If you're a little kid, this might... You might find this interesting. It's definitely different. I can't think of many games like this. It's like you're playing with color forms. Remember those? Oh, yeah. Check it out. He's shitting. Okay, click the top, you're being told. Oh, I see. So this is where you get the pieces to make up your uh, your dream house. I get you. Look at that high bottle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Chasmosis, for the 11-month resub. Oh, it's my favorite Sonic's fever dream, Wacky World. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. This game, this game is really something. Well, we've made a nightmare house for our baby. You can spell things out. Can you spell out the F word? We're gonna find out. Is this illegal? Are we gonna get kicked off Twitch? I mean, Sonic may scowl at us, but he can't control me. And this, this this song is from the Toe Jam and Earl composer, which is why it sounds so Toe Jam and Earl core. Wow, that guy got around. Okay, apparently the bottom one also has things you can do. What do you think? What do I you think of it. this little tableau I've made? Apparently there's a music maker on the uh, bottom half of the screen. Hmm. Whoa. Two. This is a lot of information to take this in. This is a lot, but I see I see Tochan and Earl, and I like that. That is to That is Earl. And Tojam down there. Oh, that's the music. Okay. Oh, you're adding different instruments to the mix. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. We mix it all together. Make your own funky jams. This this is all right. Oh, and there's little pre-programmed blocks that it runs through every several measures. Can we speed it up? Can we? There we go. Speed it up, boys. Yeah, 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 faster, faster! <laughs> Maybe this game's actually good. I think this might be good. I think this might be a good game. Let's briefly look at the other presets that they have. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow, who did this? Rude. What the fuck? I rented this from Blockbuster and my six-year-old was traumatized. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, I got to my Airbnb and it was weird. <laughs> Under the ocean. Water. Found it. Found the anchor. Where's the dolphin? We're gonna piece together a May. <laughs> Check think... stamps. Okay, there she is. There's May. Mm -hmm. What else is there? Echo! 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 Another Echo! Echo's third cousin! Man, it's an Echo Echo convention. Grandpa! What else is there? A bunch <laughs> of sick shit. I love Echo. I do too, I'm glad he's here. Me too. What do we got on the, the island? We got- whoa! We got a lion? Excuse me, why is there just a random hunk? <laughs> That's great. Kids really love the Speedo Man. <laughs> mm -hmm. That lady looks like she's from, uh, what's that game? Dino City on Super Nintendo? Yes, God. Tails. Tails? Tails has found himself in prehistory. He's just hanging out. Standing on air. You just... Alright. Okay. You can just hang out here, buddy. I'm glad Tails is here. I'm glad he's okay. 
What were you? Some zebra style creature. What the shit? Tails, what are you doing to our history? Going back in time and making new creatures. Are those two people Tails' parents? Is this Tails' family? Oh you my god. Know? Tails' family. Origins. Mm. Fly away, Tails. <laughs> and our last area. Fantasy land. Okay, apparently, coin and bobinator, uh, if you click on the sparkly fin finger on the bottom handle and click a stamp, something special happens. A uh, sparkly one, yeah. And then click on a stamp. Oh, it makes them animate. Oh, that's cool. You can add life to your creations. It's with a tip, that's cool. Look at this. What is that? What, is, what does the black glove make him do? Oh, it kills him! Hey, no! Bring him back. Yeah. What about this one? Oh, oh, <gasps> oh! You can edit. <laughs> That's Neat. so cool. This has a very inscrutable design. Like this interface is impenetrable, but cool dragon. Yeah. But. But I, once you get into this, it seems like it has a lot to do. There's so much here, so much be beneath the surface. More than I gave it credit for, even. Wow, Wacky World's Creativity Studio for Genesis. Maybe check that out. Thanks. It is a worthy alternative to Mario Paint, in my opinion. I have one more game I want to show off. You got one? You got time for one more, Alex? Hey, yeah, we can do one more. It's a Sega CD game. Okay. We played this briefly during Sega CD Monday, but now that we have the actual peripheral it uses. We can get better use out of it. How about we play my paint? You know, mine. Your paint? Let's do things my way. No, you cannot touch my paint. Okay, that's fine. I will leave your paint alone. Good. Now, we're running short on time, but... I want to note that the mouse is also supported in two of the very best games for the Sega CD, Panic and Mansion of Hidden Souls. Isn't wow. that cool? Wow! Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Now, we, all, we already covered those games to death in our Sega CD Monday playthroughs, but yeah, you can straight up play Panic with mouse support. Saddleback graphics. Oh boy, I don't know about this. You hear this... Listen to this, folks. Star Kid. What's with this music? This is disturbing. for this music to be anything but threatening. But I'm taking all of this as a threat. How about we paint? We should paint. Hold on. This is a CD game, so it has load times. What would you paint? If I could paint anything, I would paint, of course, the cool dragon. This was developed by WayForward? Oh, wonderful. Oh, wow. Cool dragon, huh? Mm hmm Very cool. Okay. Those are its teeth. Ferocious. That's its eye. What do you think? I like it. I really like that. I did that with the mouse. I like that you can I like you can get dinosaurs to paint. Yep, this game is a digital coloring book as well as it lets you make your own creations a la mm. Mario Paint. And you can learn The Chronosaurus, or Time Reptile, was a marine dinosaur that lived in the sea. Time reptile? T Why did they call it the Time Reptile? That makes it sound like I like the guy's okay, just, okay, no. Okay, 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 
Can we interview it? Damn. Yeah, it's got all your fill tools. All the stuff you'd expect from one of these games. Can we do, can we do like this? Can we make a really sicko background? No, it won't let me. <laughs> it won't let me be as sick as I want to be. Let's see another dinosaur. Okay. Do any of these catch your eye? Um, uh, that one. This one? Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see who he is after we color him. So, Alex, why don't you give us a wrap-up on your thoughts of on the Mega Mouse? My thoughts? Yeah. Well, um, it seems... I, I had the, the SNES mouse, the, the Nintendo mouse as a yeah. child, and I only used it for Mario Paint. If there were any other programs that it was useful for, I never even considered it. This... It seems like there's maybe maybe it's my own bias, but it seems like there's a bigger range of games you can play with it compared to the SNES mouse. But that could also just been because of my limited time uh, or the limited games I played with uh, the hmm. SNES mouse. Yeah, there were a few games that supported on Super Nintendo. Most of them in Japan, not here in the states. This is kind of hard to look at, huh? Oh, it's. Let's see what the announcer has to say about this creature. No, I messed it up. We're going back. Okay. I gotta know what it is. If the first one was a time traveling saurus, then what the hell would this be? I do like that you can have uh, color cycling in this to make this as <laughs> as unpleasant to look at as you want. The Tylosaurus was a marine reptile that rivaled the largest land dwelling dinosaurs. It measured up to 26 feet long and lived in the sea. Wow, good for them. My paint. Your paint? Look into the spiral. You will buy a Sega CD. You will buy five Sega CD... Five Sega CD systems. They will all break in different ways. You'll have the time of your life. You will enjoy the Sega CD. And the Mega Mouse. That's about all I got for tonight. <laughs> yeah, the Mega Mouse, I think, is more successful than the Minister. It has more games that support it. It's got cannon fodder, for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. And it has weird shit like fun and games, and Wacky Worlds was a nice surprise. I don't know about this My Paint, though. It's a little, uh, it's a little out there, yeah. even for me. Let's close up uh, by learning about this dinosaur. No, wait, I want to see one that I want to learn about. Okay. Hold up. We'll learn about this one and then one other. Okay. The Styracosaurus, meaning spiked reptile, had one long spike on its nose and spikes around its face. The Stegosaurus, meaning roof reptile, mm -hmm. had four spikes on its tail and one or two rows of bony plates that ran along its back. Cool. One or two? Imagine being a Stegosaurus with only one row. All the other Stegs would make fun of you. This is the one I want to know about. Could you hit the VHS button? I want to see what that does. Yeah, let's see what that does. After we learn about... <laughs> What's this pose? The Oviraptor, whose name means egg thief, stole eggs of other dinosaurs and ate them for food. Ate them? Well, we'll just have to commit this to videotape. Oh, cool. You can put a frame around it. Oh. The Oviraptor, whose name means egg thief, stole See eggs here. of other dinosaurs and ate them for food. So the videotape, I think, is you're like, you're finalizing the picture in preparation to be recorded on VHS tape. Ah, like you do with Mario Paint. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mario Paint made you do something similar. Cool. And that is the software library of the Sega Mega Mouse. Go buy one. Why not? It's your life. I ain't gonna tell you what to do. It's your I life. will tell you to buy a Mega Mouse, though. It's now or never. <laughs> We're done. We're done here. That was fun. A lot of games we played, a lot of weird stuff we saw. Mm -hmm. We never had as much fun as that kid on the cover of the, with the Menacer, though. What do you think he's playing? 
God, he is playing, he is somehow playing Mansion of Hidden Souls and just having the time of his life. <laughs> I can see the butterfly's emotions through the scope, man. <laughs> Special thanks to all of our patrons who made this happen. Yeah, thank you. If you want to vote for our Wednesday showcase streams, you can head over to patreon.com slash retropals. If you're at the $5 tier, you get weekly polls. You got a couple of them coming up. There's one right now to determine which of uh, several potential long plays we might be doing. Some pretty clear winners have emerged from that. People very clearly want to see one specific game, but I'm going to let that poll run to the end of the month, just mm -hmm. in case. Also got something coming up this Friday. Not entirely certain of what that's going to be. It's probably going to be arcade games because I like arcade games. So look forward to an arcade showcase next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Patrons, please vote on it. Do your duty. Please vote. Alex, wrap us up. I'm going to look for a raid target. We also post highlights of our streams at youtube.com slash retropals. Um, do check that out if you'd like to see highlights somewhere uh, else and in a maybe easier to digest format. We have four in the hopper right now that I'm working on and once this stream is done so we've we'll be having uh, some good ones coming up soon so do check that out I think we're, the next one coming out is going to be our X-Files playthrough so which was really really funny oh I enjoyed that X-Files game mm -hmm. that was so good we're also on Twitter twitter.com slash retropalshq we post when we go live there when we have new videos up on YouTube and we also retweet your really good memes you've you've been y'all been really funny lately so thank you for that Good work with the memes, y'all. Yes, good, excellent meme work. Good job cracking up some memes at the, the meme quarry. The meme mines. <laughs> gonna, gonna find me a meme geode <laughs> and show everyone how cool it is. Man, a bunch of people are streaming. What do I do? I don't know what to do. There's too many options here. Jeez. Jeez is what I say. Host someone good. Someone good. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. Would people fall for it? I think we're going to raid Maruni, who is playing through Soul Blazer right now. It seems like she's going through all the Quintet games, which is awesome. I've, I've been meaning to do that for a while. She's already done Act Razor. She's halfway through Soul Blazer. I assume uh, Illusion of Gaia is up next. Man, what a bunch of weird games those are. So go enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks. <laughs>